Multiple current carrying wires, one. To review, write the equation for the magnetic field magnitude at some radial distance r away from a wire carrying a current i. We have seen this equation many times before. We derived it using Ampere's law, but there it is. With reference to this figure, we want to write expressions for the magnetic field magnitude at each of these locations. So we have two wires here, one carrying a current 2i, the one on the right is carrying a current i, and they're in specific directions. So we need to figure out what's the magnetic field magnitude and direction at each of these points, x, y, and z. Let's do x first. The magnetic field strength, let's do the wire on the left there. Using the equation that's at the top of the screen, See that mu naught i? Shall I rewrite that down here? I'm going to rewrite it right here. Mu naught times the current divided by 2 pi r. We're going to take the magnetic field contributions one at a time. For point x, the magnetic field is going to be mu naught times 2 i, because that's the current that's given. And we're going to divide by 2 pi. And what's the distance between the 2i and x, it's going to be d. And in what direction is that going to act? According to the Thumbkin twist and right hand rule, it's going to act into the page. So that is into the page. In addition, we have a contribution from this current. That's going to be mu naught times simply i this time. And we're going to divide by 2 pi and what distance away is that? That's d. And in what direction does that act? Again, by our thumbkin twist and right hand rule, you point your right thumb in the direction that the current is going and your fingers point choo, into the page. Both of these are into the page. What does that give us? That looks to me like a total of one here and then I'm seeing one half right there. So that looks to me like three halves. How about three mu naught i over 2 pi d, and that's going to be into the page. How about for point y? For point y, let's take the wires one at a time. We're going to go mu naught times 2i. We're looking at that wire first, and we're going to divide by 2 pi. How far away is point y? It looks like it's 3d away. 2d to there, and then another d, so that's 3d. And in what direction? is that magnetic field contribution that is into the page. Now we consider the other contribution from this other wire. So that's going to be, I'll put a plus sign there, mu naught times that current, which is I, divided by 2 pi. And how far away is that wire from point Y? It's only D away. And in what direction does that act, according to our right-hand rule, we put our right thumb in the direction that the current is going at point Y. Look at my fingers. Can you see how they're coming towards us? So that's going to be represented here by the dot. We're going to have a subtractive effect. This looks to be one third, and this looks to be one half. I'll put a little plus here. I'll put that in quotes because those are pointing in the opposite direction. So that looks to me like one sixth. I think we're going to go mu naught I. 6 pi d, and who wins here? The one half is bigger, so that's going to be out of the page. Like that. How about at point z? Same thing. Mu naught. Let's take the 2i current first. Mu naught times the current divided by 2 pi. How far away are we from point z? That looks to me like we are 4b away. And in what direction is that? It is directed into the page. Then let's take the contribution from the other one. That's going to be mu naught times simply i divided by 2 pi. And how far away are we from that? That's going to be 2d. 2d. And in what direction does that act? That's going to be, hopefully you are convinced, that's going to be out of the page. So again, we're going to have to consider those. What does that give us? I'm seeing one-fourth in one direction and 
one fourth in the other direction. Looks to be zero to me. At location Z, the magnetic field is zero. That's how you do it. You use superposition.